guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video where i show you guys how you can code your own discord bot using discord jsp14 so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up a custom status for your discord bot which will show activities like watching listening streaming which will even allow you to insert a url which has to be a twitch url or a youtube link which the user can then click on from your bot's profile page and then i'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your bot change its status every few seconds so without further ado let's get into today's episode so here as you can see we have created the set activity function which we actually created in episode one if you haven't checked out that one i highly recommend you check out that one first before watching this one so what we're going to do is first of all get rid of whatever is in the string over here the text in the string i'm going to type a curly brace i'm going to give it a name property here i'm just going to do like subscribe to sean Kurbanda. I'm going to give it a comma and then give it a type property and then I'm going to do activity type as you can see there's a whole lot of options that we can choose from in this case I'll just do like watching and then type comma and then I'm going to close that off let me call it save the code and I'm going to just type node mod if you're not sure what node mod is node mod is basically a script that automatically updates your bot that you having to manually exit on that instance of the code and then rerunning the code so i showed you guys how you can set up node mod in my previous episode you can check it out there but here as you can see it says the tutorial bot is ready and we can now check it out in your discord server so here we are at our discord server and as you can see it says watching subscribe to dushan karbanta we can now go back to our discord server and change this to streaming and then insert a url so let's do that so here we're back at our virtual studio code we're going to change set uh, the activity type to from watching to streaming and then we can insert a url i'm going to put a link to one of my youtube videos just like that comma save the code as you can see node mod automatically updates her bot so let's go back to our discord server and check it out so as you can see now it says streaming subscribe to john karbanda and there's a link that we can click on so now what we're going to do is make our bot change its status by its own every 10 or 15 seconds. The reason why we're doing 10 or 15 seconds and not like 5 or 2 seconds is because we don't want Discord to rate limit our bot and the bot never changes its status. So let's go back to our Visual Studio code and work on that. So what we're going to do is define an array which will store all the activities as objects. So let's first of all go over here and define an array. So const activities is equal to array so the objects that we're going to insert into this array is going to be the custom status that we want for our discard bot so what we're going to type now is curly braces and then we're going to give our first status so it's just going to be this so let's copy that paste that in and let's add another status and let's paste that again again let's add another status paste that in and let's add one final status paste that in so now i'm going to format this and uh, change the values so here i have my custom status is all formatted and changed individually obviously you can put whatever you want in each property name type url um, the only thing that's actually required is the name property the type and url property are optional and also the url property is only exclusive to the streaming type so once we have that array established what we're going to do now is go over here where it says client.user.set activity and type set interval and then we're going to do narrow function. So what we're going to do now is define a variable called random, which will utilize mat.random, which will allow the bot to then randomly select a custom status from our activities array. So let's type const random, and then let's say math.floor, and then do math.random. And then what we're going to do is multiply it by activities, which is our array name dot length and then semicolon and then i'm going to type over here client dot user dot set activity and then we're going to pass in the randomly generated um, index so activities dot random or not dot random but at random and then once we've done that we're just going to pass in an interval time over here let's do 10 seconds so it's going to be the unit of measurement that discord js uses is milliseconds so we're going to type 10,000, which translates to 10 seconds. And then what we're going to do is get rid of this. And then we're going to save the code. And now let's head on over to our Discord server and check it out. 
So ideally now the bot should change its status every 10 seconds. Sometimes your bot may get rate limited and it may not change. For that, you just have to wait a couple minutes, or maybe stop the instance of your bot and then rerun it, and then it should work. A few moments later. So you guys can see now the bot has changed it to listening to lo-fi music. There you guys have it. Now you know how you can set up a custom status for your Discord bot, which changes randomly based on a certain interval. And if you don't want it to change on a certain interval, you can set a predefined custom status and have that forever. As you can see, it changed again to watching basketball and now it's back to streaming. And there you guys have it. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a like, share this video with friends and family. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video or any other Discord JSP related topic. I'll gladly help. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.